All right, Dave Jackson, I'm, I'm in my element right now on the board, sitting here there safely. You go. There you go. Because that's not safe for me. But um, it safe. wasn't safe for you back in uh, U.S. Thanksgiving, huh? No, I wasn't. Uh, I had the same thing. Uh, November 26th, I've been out since then. Uh, player slid into me, tore my ACL, tore my MCL. So I'm on the uh, injured reserve until next training camp. You know, I did my 1,000th game last year and wow. figured... Uh, we keep going for a number of years, but this injury now puts everything in perspective. Yeah, you, uh, the knee injury is, is horrible. It's, it's got you out of action. Is this like the first serious injury that you've sustained? First serious injury. I've missed uh, a week at a time here, a week at a time there, uh, small injuries. But first major injury where, you know, basically it's taken me uh, six months of rehab and it's been a while. But that means more time at home, which we've talked about before. You love that. And more times to take part in endeavors such as this. Uh, Hustle for a Cure, you're good friends with Angelo D'Amico. Let's talk a bit about this uh, charity event. I, I'd love to. And this provides me the opportunity to attend things, not just things like this, but things with my family, with my kids, see my, uh, my children play hockey, uh, school activities. It puts everything in perspective. You, you, you get to realize how much you actually miss and sacrifice when you're doing the job you love. Talk a bit about John D'Amico. Uh, you know, you see those pictures on hustleforacure.org, and you see a young, strapping John D'Amico, and, you know, I've just been hearing the testaments. It's been amazing how strong this man was, and yet, you know, felled by, by cancer. I grew up idolizing John D'Amico. I mean, if you look at any old footage, be it black and white or early color, John D'Amico's in every situation there is. And when I joined the NHL in 1986 as a trainee, he uh, was one of my first supervisors. Came and watched me work. He was still on the ice at the time, gave me a lot of good pointers. And then when he retired, he became one of my bosses. And, you know, you might say, well, he was a linesman. How do you teach you how to referee? But John taught me about the game. John taught me what's expected of me as a professional. John taught me how everybody around the game thinks, what they, exp uh, what they want from you, and, and how the game works. And he made me a, a much better official than I ever could have been without him. And then now to see his legacy continuing, I mean, it just, it, it makes me sad in a way, but it makes me happy uh, because he was just so, so valuable to the game of hockey. Finally, Dave, play spokesperson. How do people get involved? All you've got to do is speak to your local, local cancer uh, society. Go on the websites, hustleforacure.org. There's chapters in almost every city. Uh, you get to meet a lot of celebrities, which I'm really not one of. I'm, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm infamous, but there's a lot of famous, famous uh, celebrities, famous alumni that are all involved in this cause. You come to meet them, and they give their time, autographs, pictures. It, young kids eat it up, and the parents love it too because it's their generation. So just go on the website, hustleforacure.org, and you'll find everything you need there. Serving proud in the NHL since 1990, but serving proud here as you log on to hustleforacure.org.